Hey guys, this is John from JMOF Pickup, and today we're going to talk about working volume. All right, so I think this is one of the most underrated topics in the pickup community. Uh, most people neglect this idea. Basically, the whole point is that you should be putting more leads into your whole machine, into your whole funnel, so that at the bottom, you close more girls. All right, so I'm going to go into the various fundamentals of how you work volume and how this is going to result in a much higher increase of closing. Okay. So you basically have multiple lead sources, all right? So you can talk to girls in bars and clubs for night game. You can talk to girls during the daytime um, with day game. You can talk to girls online through Tinder, Bumble, OkCupid, all this kind of stuff. And what that's gonna do is gonna, it's gonna give you a lead, okay? So it, a, the equivalent is basically a phone number. So you're gonna have a whole bunch of phone numbers and you're gonna need to work those numbers down into dates or meetups. And then you're going to try and close. So to give you the big picture, you talk to this many girls, you know, this many girls are responsible over text, this many girls meet up, this many girls close, and then from the ones you close, you're gonna form a rotation or a harem, so to speak, and you're going to, you know, basically keep around the coolest, hottest girls as regulars and see all those girls once a week. But it all starts at the top with those leads, all right? So if you're not going out, to bars and clubs and you're not talking to women during the daytime and you're not going on tinder then you have no leads and you're not going to fuck new girls okay now if you're just going out one night a week and not doing anything else in terms of getting leads you're going to have a small amount of leads all right so what i usually recommend to my students is that you guys should be going out three to four times at a minimum preferably five to six times a week per night especially when you're trying to master this if you're already at an advanced level where you're closing regularly, then you don't need to, you know, really sharpen your craft and hone your craft. But that's not the case for almost anyone. Almost the entire community or guys that want to get good with women um, need to get much better because most of the um, skill levels that guys have are extremely low. So, um, like I said, you should be focusing on bringing in leads from daytime, talking to girls in the daytime, um, bars and clubs at night and online with Tinder and Bumble and uh, these type of apps. So the no amount of girls you close from the amount of leads you put in is going to depend on your skill, right? So I'm able to close a much higher percentage of the girls that I'm bringing into my funnel than a newer guy is, okay? A newer guy might talk to 100 girls and maybe he only closes one or zero, okay? Whereas if I talk to 100 girls, I'm gonna close about 10 of those. And that should put things into perspective uh, too so you don't have unrealistic expectations. Most of the leads that you get, even in my case, I've been with 733 girls at this point, 733. Um, most of those, most of the girls that I talk to even now are not going to close. And it's like this with sales as well. The best salesmen aren't converting anywhere near 100% of the leads that they talk to, okay? Um, so the common state of affairs is that most of the phone numbers you get aren't going to go anywhere, all right? And I'm gonna talk about in other videos how you can convert these leads the best. But let's go into some of the principles here. So like I said, at the end of the day, this is a numbers game. It doesn't mean that you should just, you know, constantly be pouring leads in and like not have any skill. Of course, it's a skill game as well. But you need to pump leads into your funnel, so to speak, so that you can close those leads, all right? So, Think about on a typical night out, you're going to meet five to 15 girls at a bar or club, right? This, this is about average, maybe a little more, maybe a little less. But out of those five to 15 girls, you can only take home one, right? On that given night, which means the majority of the leads that are from the nighttime are going to need to be closed at a later time during when you have a date, okay? Or in the community, they call that a day two. So let's say I go out five nights in a week. I talk to 10 girls on average per night, and now I have 50 leads from that night time, right? Those all need to be worked now through texting, um, through calendar reminder, reminders as I'm going to speak about, and through um, meetups and dates, okay? So here's a really important principle. Investment for the woman drops as time passes, okay? So say you meet a girl on a Saturday, you get her number, now, by Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, she's already met a bunch of other guys. 
she doesn't remember the whole details of your interaction that you had on Saturday and she starts losing interest, right? If you haven't met up yet. And this is because she's building investment through time spent with you, um, through physical hookups with you and also through, um, emo you know, setting aside time, setting aside emotion, that kind of stuff. So you want to see that girl as soon as possible. So come, so say you meet a bunch of girls on Saturday, come Sunday, you want to meet up with the hottest, coolest ones that you had the most chemistry with. And that the reason for that is because you want to build more investment before the lead starts to dry up. Now in general, investment, since it's dropping over time, that lead is going to go cold, so to speak, or in other words, have a low probability of actually closing and resulting in sex after about a week. Okay, and it, it's gonna drop pretty sharply after the first couple days if you haven't met up yet, but in about a week's time, that lead is close to dead, all right? And you can still convert it, but you want to be getting the meetup pretty, pretty quickly, okay? So another tool that I use that I wanna cover is something called calendar reminders. So in your cell phone, you can go on, iPhone, Android, whatever, doesn't matter. You can go into your calendar and you can set a reminder. So once I set a date with a girl over text, and I'll, I'll go over this in another video, how you set up those dates. But once I set up a date with a girl and she has agreed to it, so say that there's a girl from Saturday over text on Sunday, she agrees to a meetup on, on Monday, okay, Monday night at seven o'clock. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go into my phone and for Monday morning at 10 a.m., I'm gonna put a calendar reminder that says, girl's name, say her name is Elena. Elena, 7 p.m. And I'm gonna write that at 10 a.m. as a calendar reminder, right? So when I wake up Monday morning, I see a reminder Elena at 7 p.m. And the reason for this is I'm gonna send a certain specific sequence of texts. And again, I'll go over this in another video, but I'm gonna text her at 10 a.m. Basically indirectly confirming our plans by saying, is it time for drinks yet? With a winky tongue face, right? And if she's still down and all, everything's still good, she's usually gonna say something like, I wish or not yet or almost or something like that. And that's going to confirm the date for me. But I'm also gonna put a calendar reminder for the night before at 7 p.m. Okay, so Sunday night, 7 p.m., I'm gonna put in a reminder that says, Elena drinks whatever place we agreed on and tomorrow, 7 p.m. So when that text comes up, I'm gonna shoot her a text, excited to meet you tomorrow, wink face, night before, all right? And you have to do this kind of shit because the problem is when you're working a whole bunch of leads, you're just going to forget like like you should be working a comfortable number is about 15 to 20 um solid leads okay and that's going to be you're going to be constantly adding to that lead pool um based on new girls you're meeting and there's going to be girls dropping out of that lead pool maybe some girls will tell you to fuck off maybe some girls are completely ignoring you over text so but you want you don't want to take on like a whole ton of leads at once because you're not going to be able to actively work them and you're not going to be able to actively by work them i mean text them uh, properly and you're also not going to be able to meet up with them all before they go cold so you're just kind of burning leads okay so you should aim to be keeping it around 15 to 20 and you're going to need to set these counter reminders so if you open up my phone on any given day of the week it's like this girl at three this girl at five this girl at eight this girl at ten right and i'm also putting in reminders for my fuck buddies for my rotation as well right i usually run a rotation at a minimum usually four to five I, I run my rotations pretty big, so I usually have four or five regulars at a minimum and as much as up to 12 or 13, which just basically consumes your entire life. Um, but I keep it around, like right now it's around seven. Um, so, I'll, okay, so I put in the reminders for when I'm seeing my rotation girls and also for when I'm having uh, dates, okay? So just to recap that one more time, you set a date the morning of 10 a.m. Reminder that you're seeing that girl that night or that day. Um, you know, my hours are flexible with, with my work, so I can set afternoon dates as well. Um, for most of you, you have a nine to five job. So if you're going to do afternoon dates, it's going to be on Saturdays and Sundays. Calorie reminder the night before 7 PM to remind you of the date the next day. Okay. Um, from there, you're also going to make reminders about like, say a girl says, um, I'm going on vacation for five days. Okay, cool. What day are you back? Oh, I'm back on this day. Okay. I immediately go to my calendar, whatever her name is, back from vacation, set for date, okay? Um, say she's like, work is really busy, 
because I have to cover this girl's shift for the next three days. Or say the girl's a student and she's like, I have a test in two days. I'm going to be studying until then. Um, let's wait and we can make a plan then. Calendar reminder. Her test is over, set a date. Um, this girl, her work schedule freed up, set a date, okay? Um, or say the girl's like, oh, I'm not free until the weekend. Okay. Calendar reminder for Friday, set date for weekend with this girl. This is how you have to manage it because otherwise it's going to slip through the cracks. You can't keep track of all this stuff mentally, um, especially with new leads coming in constantly and running big rotations. So you have to put in the calendar reminders. Um, like I said, like I open up, say on like a Monday, it's like set girl A, B, C, D, E, F, G. And I text them, delete it out of the calendar. Text them, delete it out of the calendar. Um, you can also have like what I call like floater spots as well. So say a girl, say you have like your whole day packed with like dates and rotations. And this is gonna happen once you get good at this. And I'm gonna go into another videos how you get these leads and make them high quality and how you close these leads. Okay, but right now I'm just talking about how to work these leads. Um, so on a given day, like say you have date, date, rotation, girl, date, or something like this. Your whole day is booked. Girls flake or cancel on dates. Rotation girls can flake and cancel as well. It happens a lot less frequently than new dates. But what you're gonna do is have these kind of like floater spots. So say some girl is like, oh, I'm free. Um, Monday evening, I get off work at six. You're like, cool, I hit you up. Or say she's like, oh, I'm free. I have off from work Monday or, or whatever. I don't work until Monday night. I'm free in the afternoon. So what I'll do is I'll put a calendar reminder for that day. So-and-so free afternoon, so-and-so free evening. So what happens is if a girl flakes on a date or rotation girl flakes, I check my calendar and I can set a new date, a new, basically like fill that spot that just opened up, okay? Um, but yeah, that's pretty much, those are the main points I wanted to cover. So again, just to, to recap one more time, you wanna be acquiring leads or phone numbers from daytime, which is, I'll make a little side note here, daytime is a lot less efficient than nighttime. So I mostly get my leads from nighttime and online, okay? But I will approach hot girls during the day. I don't go out and walk around for three hours trying to approach strangers on the street just because the, um, the bang for the buck is a lot less. You're, you're not going to get a, as many quality leads as you would um, for the amount of time you spend as you would from night or online. Um, you should also be setting like a daily calendar reminder for Tinder like or even Bumble as well. So put in a, rem a reminder that recurs daily when you have like a half hour of free time in your day and put swipe Tinder and Bumble. Okay. Because that's going to keep new opportunities, new leads coming in. Okay. You should also try to commit to going out at least Friday and Saturday nights. That should be easy for most people to commit to. Um, try to start adding in Thursday nights. Start as, try to start adding in Wednesday nights as well. Find out where the most people are going on the weekdays. Um, in most cities, they have like, a, you know, a drink special or some kind of special event on um, weekday nights that you can learn about and start planning for. Um, so once you once you're pouring in all these leads to the funnel, keep in mind you should only be working about 15 to 20 at a time, and that's going to be constantly in flux because you're going to be meeting new girls, and girls are going to be dropping out of your lead pool. Um, and you're also going to be closing new girls. And keep in mind too, like I'm regularly closing over 100 girls a year, and that's actually only two girls a week in order to hit that number. There's 52 weeks in a year, two girls close a week, two out of those seven days of the week. If you get new closes, like sex with a new girl, that's over 100 a year, all right? That's 104 in a year. And it, it seems like not much to say two girls in a week, but most guys, almost hardly anyone is doing that in the community or in the dating world in general. Um, it sounds easy, but it's the result of pumping tons of leads into the funnel. And then when the dust settles, you get those two or three closes. And then you take the best ones and you keep them as regulars. Um, and I'm gonna teach you how to optimize that funnel so more leads pass through to the end stage. For a lot of the newer guys, they're gonna get a bunch of leads and they're just gonna be shitty leads because their their game was weak. They're not working the leads properly over text. They're not running their dates properly. They're not being sexual enough. They're not being physical enough. Um, now I'll go on into all that in, in future videos. Um, yeah, I'm trying to keep these videos relatively short, so I think I've covered the main topics 
Um, keep in mind that investment drops in a week's time and keep in mind my rules for calendar reminders. Okay, I'll see you guys next time and thank you for tuning in.